unfurl them. Move it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll Wait make men of the sea out of you yet. Right. Aye, aye, Captain. Quit your belly aching, you gutless pricks. Make a burn. Raise your Leave yourselves. Oh. Steady. Steady, you lot. <laughs> the sea won't have it! Sweet and faithful impact! Yes, Put sir! Put your whining and fight! Great for incoming! Are you men or sheep? Quit hiding! Alive. Don't move an inch, you gutless dogs. Hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Hey, pirate, you like to hunt? <laughs> Not animals. You read my mind. We should talk sometime. Depends on what you're hunting. <laughs> a pack of rats, so to speak. Rat bastard thieves who thought they could get away from me. I've been hunting them down, and now I've got the last of them cornered. What'd they take from you? They robbed a ship the night before it was set to leave port. A beautiful job. Made off with a damned barrel's worth of coins. A ship? Not your ship? 
It wasn't my ship, it was my robbery and my crew of thieves. I planned the damn thing, provided equipment, found the mark, and they go and double cross me. Rob the ship and crawl back into their holes like filthy vermin. <laughs> greedy, greedy rats. They say there's no honor among thieves. The hell with honor. It's a matter of principle. So you need my help fighting them? <laughs> I don't need your bloody help. Sure, I'll toss you a few coins, but I just thought you looked like the type who'd like to get in on the fun. The last of them will be passing this way any minute. I can promise you this. When you bash them, they're gonna spill gold too, along with their blood. What do you say? All right. What's the plan? Plan? They're rats. Just stomp them to death and leave them to be scraped off the cobblestones. How many of them are there? There were six of them to start. Now there's only four. Damn, the rats are hard to kill. I found the whole lot of them twice and only managed to kill one each time before the rest scurried off. And you're sure they have the money on them? Absolutely. I've been hunting them since the robbery. If they'd taken the time to hide the gold, I would have been on top of them in two shakes of a rat's tail. Oh. Here they come! It's the Devil's Hound himself! Shut up! Decided not to sneak up from behind and stab me in the back like you did the others, eh, Burdock? They all died fast. I'm making sure you boys go nice and slow. <laughs> I'd say that takes care of me rock problem. Looks that way. At least until I put my next crew together. Rats are everywhere these days. Are you satisfied with what you took off the bodies? I filled my purse. Thanks for the help. You stay on your guard now. There are rats everywhere these days. For God's sake, Raven, not now. Raven? What happened to Christopher? Look, I'm up to my neck and... Damn, he's here already. You're late, whore, but I'm an understanding man. It's only going to cost you a little extra this month. Mr. Perrins, I was just about to... I want the money waiting here for me when I get back. Now, go get one of your whores ready for me, and have her perfume herself first this time. Yes, Mr. Perrins. Friends of yours? Very funny. That's Perrins. He's in with a new governor's secretary. You know I had everything set with McGregor, but this bastard, he doesn't respect any of the old deals. I'm paying him twice McGregor's rate each month. And now he's charging me even more. Is that officially sanctioned? Are you kidding? He's on his own. But the entire staff changed when the old governor left. Who am I going to tell about it? I spent years maintaining those contacts and now this. Go get the money you were going to give him. This will be a one-time payment, but I'll be collecting. What do you mean? I'll make him go away. For good. But he's the governor's official. 
And he bleeds like any other man. Just make sure to keep it quiet. I don't need any trouble. I told you to stay out of my way, pirate. Maybe I didn't hear you right. Maybe you need your ears cut off if you're not going to use them. Your days are numbered, pirate. The new governor's taken a personal interest in your kind. You're not going to live to see that happen. You dare threaten me, you vermin. You'll die for this. <laughs> Jesus, Raven, you call that quiet? I'm calling it a favor. There's a damn body on my floor. Again! There may be more outside. I doubt he was alone. What? Are you crazy? You can't leave me with this mess. I can send a couple of deckhands to clean this up. For a price. That blade on him looks like a good piece of steel. Sell it and you should get enough to pay my men. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Raven. All right. Just have them here soon, before the whole city finds out about this. I'm going to send a few extra men, too. They've been at sea a long time and could use a woman. Have some girls ready. And I expect you want this free of charge, too. What do you think, Maria? Telling you I heard something. You've got mud in your ears, is all. Hey, see that one there? He looks like he might know something. So ask him. Hey, you. You seen Mr. Perrins? A word of advice, friend. You should find yourself a new boss. Your current one isn't going to be paying you anytime soon. What do you mean? Where's Mr. Perrins? He's in hell. Where he belongs. You mean like... dead? How? Doesn't matter. What matters is there's no point of being loyal to a dead man, don't you agree? I... I guess. What's done is done, eh? That's the kind of thinking that'll keep a man breathing. I'm glad to see you in a better mood this time. Maria, still as beautiful as ever. No thanks to you. Customers getting stabbed in my rooms, violence in my halls. What do you think this is going to do to my business? I guess I'm just lucky you're so kind-hearted. My kind heart is going to get me killed one day. If the rum prices don't get me first. You could buy from Marcus, you know. Yes, I could. If your maroon friends started making half as much as the big suppliers do. Those guzzlers here drink by the gallon. It would help if Marcus didn't hate my guts as well. I don't recall the prices changing in months. Marcus could make more if the order was large enough. They raise them the moment they find out I need a bigger shipment. 
and they have ways of putting enough pressure on me not to buy elsewhere. Who is the supplier of yours? I could have a talk with him. That sounds very promising. And what could I do to return such a favor? That comes later. For now, let's just say you'll owe me a personal favor. The man's name's Duncan. He lives in St. Lucia, actually. And he lives, well, off of my money. Duncan. Of course. I know him. Amber, isn't it? Keep me company for a while. I'd love to, but I'm busy. And Maria has her eyes everywhere. Guess you need your boat. Not to worry. Christopher, did Marcus run out of rum? 
I wouldn't be surprised what with all the time he's been at sea instead of his still lately. Well, Marcus is an adventurous soul. It's definitely not greed that keeps him going. What do you want, Christopher? From now on, you keep prices low for Maria. She pays half price for her next delivery. <laughs> I will, huh? And what business is it of yours? And besides, what makes you think I'd do what you tell me to? I'll have a few people tell your wife you agreed on low prices with Maria in exchange for some free ass. You want to try and explain that to your wife? You son of a bitch! My wife died half a year ago! Oh, huh. guess I've been gone for a while. Yeah, and I didn't miss you either. It's a real pity she died. Would you get out of here already? I will, after you agree to lower your prices for Maria. You're really gonna keep this up? The answer is never! I know where your supplies come from. The raw materials you get delivered by ship, it's a well-known route. It would be a shame if someone were to intercept that ship. You bastard. My answer is no. See you soon, then. a bullet in his back. Up is this way, you fools! Aye, aye, Captain! Save the fire! Brace yourselves! Aye, aye, Captain! First man to leave the deck answers to me. Shut it and fight! Sweet little man! Man! Spill, man. Fire! As you wish. As you wish. Aim lower. Lower, I said. Right. Heave, you chicken leather coward. Stand your ground, you cowards.
Если он идет, но... You sunk that ship. Me? I don't know what you mean, Duncan. Sounds like you're just having a streak of bad luck. Maybe if you were more agreeable, people would leave you alone. Okay, you asshole. Tell Maria she'll get what she wants. Smart move, Duncan. And I don't want to hear any complaints about you from Marcus. Understand? Goddamn lob car. Good news. You don't have to cut your rum with water anymore. me. Is it really taken care of? It's done. And as for the favor we mentioned, you can pay it back now. You have some information I need. Let me guess. It's something you can't even say out loud.
Santorio, your last shipment of food was poisoned. The French are on their way to attack you and your men right now. Well, that explains why half of my men are sick. I don't eat anything I haven't personally inspected and prepared myself. When will the fools learn? Of course you don't, you paranoid bastard. How many of your men can still fight? Not enough. French bastards! Here they come. Great. Well, I need you alive. Where can you use my blade? Almost all of my gunners are sick. You do the most damage manning the gunners. Go soft on me. Impact. Mind the sodding cannonballs. It can't help us. Don't you go hiding now, you dogs. Oh shit! Brace yourselves! Shit! 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 Cannonballs! Lord have mercy. Stay on the deck, damn it. Shit, shit, shit! Mind the sodding cannonballs! Come on, Let's go! Help us! Brace for impact! Brace Come for impact! Brace yourselves! Don't you go hiding now, you dogs! Oh, shit, shit, shit! shit. Cannonballs! Incoming! Oh, whining and fighting. You call Incoming. yourselves sailors? Lord have Stay mercy! Take cover! First man to leave the deck answers to me. Cannonball! Open fire! Open fire! fire. fire. Stand your ground, you cowards! They've all been fired! Lazy tricks! Right on with the Bloody for impact! Steady! Steady, lot! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Davy Jones locker yet, men. They've opened fire. God help us. Oh, get, oh. get a hold of yourself. Rum a plenty for you, brave souls. Hey, 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 soul. Brace yourselves. Stay on the death, damn it. Bloody sods. There's great in you. Shit, shit, shit. Bloody shriek in hell. Move it. Make the devil himself brace for impact. Have mercy. Get your knickers in a twist, please. Right ten, it's away. I got coming. Get on the fire. Coming in. Coming. If you're not using your balls, I can always chop them off. God help us! Hey, Stop sitting your bridges, you in. spineless cowards! Fire away, you lazy bricks! Brace yourselves! Oh, oh, shit, shit, God, shit! Don't oh, dare go soft on me! One more good shot! Just one more! Cannonball! Come in! Take cover! Stand your ground, you cowards! They're finished. Pity I couldn't have been on my ship out there. The French always carry too much gold on board. Don't remind me of what you are. Hmm, don't worry. I won't mention that the famous pirate hunter Santorio needed help from a lowly pirate to save his own men. If you tell me what I need to know about Neville... I always keep my word, Captain Raven. Even to a pirate. There's a man holed up in the brigands' den, east of Guadeloupe. He's been bragging that once he sailed with Neville, guy goes by the name of Weedy. The pirate hideout? Why haven't you tracked this man down? Isn't hunting pirates your business? I go after who I want, when I want, Raven. Besides, I don't blend in very well there. But I think that you'd fit right in, wouldn't you? You're not going to give me much, Santorio. I pulled your ass out of some real trouble back there. I'm sure you'll never let me forget it. Besides, I never said it would be much, just what I had. If you survive, feel free to report back to me. Maybe I'll have some new information by then.
Shall we trade?
plaster them to shit. And make no mistake, he ain't no swabby. Never seen that shit in my life, though. Don't mean nothing. Could have been. Hang on, look. They're one of them? Let's find out. Oi, you with the crew I just docked. They're with me. It's my ship. So you're the one that spent those Spaniards to Davy James's locker? You got a problem with that? No, 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 my friend. The truth is, me and Harry here, we were just talking about you. I mean, uh, you, you took them bastards down. I ain't seen nothing like that for a while. You fight like a damn demon. We was gonna tell the boys, you know, warn them that the Spaniards were coming. But you just went and sunk the bastards before we could get a ward out. You at the Brotherhood? No, I'm my own captain. Oh, uh, you know, that don't really matter much with what you done. That'll buy you a hell of a good reputation round here, I tell you. Should come in handy. Do you know anyone by the name of Weedy? I was told he'd be here. Can't say I do. You could ask at the tavern. Most everyone hangs around there. Shit, here comes Biff. What? Nothing to it. Uh, we'll put in a good word for you. What the shit is going on here? Who's this run? Why aren't you two ladies stopping his ass into the ground? It's okay, Biff. He's the one who took out those Spaniards. Yeah, he saved us a ton of trouble. I don't give a shit if he shoved a horn up King Philip's ass. Nobody gets through without me knowing. Can't even let you two bomb stand guard for ten minutes without you screwing up. Get the hell out of here! And you! Who the hell are you anyway? Name's Raven. Captain Christopher Raven. Shut up, scum! I'll tell you when to talk. Give me one damn reason why I shouldn't toss your ass back into the sea! Now, talk! Of course I have a reason, but it's not the kind of reason I'd want to shout about, if you get me. What the hell are you babbling about? Did they really not talk to you? I thought for sure they would have. What? You better stop making sense. Listen, if you don't know, that means you're not supposed to. Too bad. Just let me in and forget about it. Well, I will. Tell me what this is about or you'll be talking to my blade. <laughs> Your head's as thick as your belly, ain't it? You son of a bitch. I'll go you for that. You, sir, are clearly a descending customer. Hardly. I'm doing business with you, aren't I? Lucky for you, I appreciate a sense of humor. Please, have a look.
You need me. No. What we got here? You're looking for a drink? Give me some rum. Here you go. That's ten reales. Have you heard of any officers looking for a job? Ha! Lots of pirates looking for work around here. I'm sure you'll find someone that needs a hand. Give me here. You know where I can. There's a bullet. Heard any interesting rumors? I heard some pirates were trying to rebuild Port Royal. Maybe they have some work for you. Tell me, Squim, have you heard? I've been sailing these seas for many a year Spending me days spread of terror and fear But now I'm returning When all of the spring is over and when he's here to stop the feelings to me never more oh. Play him a jig on the sailor's fiddle, stiffen up the bit in the middle. It's gonna be so hard, no need for a wait. There lie in the morning. Why don't you come over here and give this a suck? <laughs> Asshole! Don't you ever mess with Weedy, you little slut! Never mess with me! I'll fucking kill you. Things sure have changed, huh? These days, even the whores have no respect. I remember back in the days before the storm swept half of Port Royal off the map. Men like us, we had it all. Men like us? What are you going on about? You look too young to have air on your balls. The fuck would you know about Port Royal before the quake? I know there used to be hard crews there. Crews that wouldn't take shit from some beaten down old hooker. Well now, who the hell are you trying to impress? One of these crews of dandies prowling around here? You trying to prove you're some kind of hard case? I'm only looking to impress one man, and hopefully join his crew. I heard that you might be able to help me find him. But I guess I was mistaken. You're obviously not the man I heard you were. Wait a second. What, Captain? Neville. 
And the Devil's Tines. Haven't you heard they're back? Neville, he, he's back? I mean, of course he's back. So what? You think he's just gonna take in some punk like you? Make you one of the Tines? Ha! So you do know how I can find him? Of course. Us Tines stick together until the end. So I was right. You used to be one of the Tines. Used to be? You're never out of the Tines, you goddamned little milksop. <laughs> you think you've got what it takes? You ever killed a man? You ever got a wench like a sheep? Hey! Ever hold a youngling in front of his dear mummy and open his throat? Sweetie. Was it so long ago, well? No. Funny it seemed like ages ago when you and your mates left me to bleed out. Huh? You? What is this? Who are you? I'm just remembering some old times of my own, Weedy. These days I go by Raven. But my family name is Callahan. You remember us? Family of four? I suppose it doesn't matter. We Callahan's are a tenacious bunch, and you boys really should have stopped with my hand. You. No, you got it wrong. That wasn't me. Neville's the one you want. Him and his man Kensington, I can tell you where. You have no idea where they are. They left you behind after the quake, didn't they? Even a dog like Neville can recognize a useless fool when he sees one. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, look. I can tell you where Br Brady is. Bloodfish Brady. I was never really one of the times, you know. Neville left me here to rot. But Brady, he's a savage bastard. He can help you find Neville. I know it. So where is he? In San Muerte. He caught ill, so uh, Neville dropped him in a monastery with all his fucking priests. They took care of him. Look, go after Brady, hey? Leave me be. I'm not a human one. I'm not even my brother ties anymore. Just look like you said. It was before they killed your family. Shh. You understand, eh? I understand just fine, Weedy. 